Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial about how to use Unity to create terrain, add materials to, to the terrain, and also add water to the terrain. So, to begin with, we have a massive white plane in front of us. This is the terrain plane. This can be altered, meaning it can be raised or lowered, depending on whatever elevation you wish. To do that, all you have to do is go over to the inspector here on the right side and click the the far left button on the the terrain. This is the raise or lower trans terrain button. The one to the right of it is called the paint height button. That will, you set a height and you go over to the terrain, click and hold, and it will raise the terrain to that particular height specified, which is right here. The next button is the smooth height button, which is just going through and smoothing the, all the edges and all everything that you've created using the razor lower terrain. The fourth button is the paint texture. That is what we will use to apply the texture to the terrain just as we change the terrain. It will be in a paintbrush form so it, we can paint the texture directly where we want. The other three buttons are useful but they are not going to be used in this particular tutorial. So to begin with, we're going to create our lake. We're going to choose the razor lower terrain button make the brush size as big as possible, make the occlency as big as possible. What the occlency will do is control the strength of the pull or push that the brush will do. So to begin with we're going to push shift and hold shift as well and then click and drag the mouse wherever you wish. If you shift it will lower the terrain, if you do not hold shift and pull it will just create the terrain normally. We're going to lower that to make this easier to see. So we're just going to quickly create a big circle here that will act as our lake. To make it easier on the eyes, for as you can see, this is very difficult to actually see what's actually going on no matter what angle we look at it from. So we're going to go to the paint terrain, I'm sorry, paint textures tab. We're going down to below the brushes. You'll see it says textures, no textures are defined. Go to the edit textures button, of course, click it, add texture. It'll have this little this window pop up here. You will want to select, click the select button in the left square. This will bring up another window, a scrolling window that has all the textures, everything involved with textures that your Unity project has loaded. A lot of them are not what we need, so we're going to scroll down until we find some grass that we can use, like this one. Double click that to add it, and then click add to officially add, and boom. Everything has been textured in the grass way, so we can see the terrain much easier now. Now, as of course, if we're going to have a lake in the middle of this, grass is not what we want there. Go, to, go back to here, add texture. Same process. Select brings up the scrolling menu. Go all the way back down. It was the one we want. There we go. It was right next to what we had before. We want this one. This is going to be the base. And we apply it. See here? We can paint it on the inside of our crater. Of course, when creating any terrain, you want to have some sort of end goal in mind before you start creating. My idea for this is a volcanic crater that has exploded in the past and been dormant. So of course it has a massive crater like this. It's been raining for many years so we want to add a lake that has created there. So we're going over to the far left here at the bottom in your projects panel. In here you'll have everything that's been loaded up into the program so far. When you start loaded the Unity, you have the option of importing all of the free environmental effects. Hopefully you did. If you did not, that's okay. They can be added any time during the project The project you're working on. You just have to go to File and Import. So from here we're going down to the water. We're going to Water 4 because this is a newer version that they've had and it is very pretty. You click to Water, you go to Prefabs, and then we're going to click and drag this Water for Advanced out of the panel and onto our terrain. 
So it might be small. And from there, that is easily rectified. You go up to the top left here, and you choose the, the one with the box in the middle with the four arrows going out to each corner. That is your scale. See, it pops up with these things here. You grab each one of these boxes, and if you pull, it will affect how long or how wide the object you are affecting will be. From there, as you can see, we can't really see it. So we're going to go over to this, the move button, which is the four arrows and the cross, and pull it up. And just like that, water materializes inside of our volcano. And from here, you can fine tune however you wish it to look. And also, there are little bits and pieces that can stick out. These are easily fixed as well. Click on your terrain again. Go to the Razor Lower Terrain button. You can just go around and doctor the whole thing. Ah, see here? Not quite right for water. So what we can do to fix that is just add some more terrain. And now it's truly a lake enclosed on all sides. You see this texture there is not quite right, so we'll go back to the Paint Texture button, click on our grass, and start adding it back. If we want it to be all technical, we can give it a little beach feel here. Just circle it around and add some sand and rock along the outside. And we'll zoom in and give you a very pretty look at this water. And that is a very quick and easy way to create terrain, texture the terrain, and add water to your scene. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.